Hello YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina and I make lifestyle and DIY videos every single week and today's video is all about things that you might forget on your wedding day and these are some things that I definitely forgot on my wedding day. To be honest, a lot of these things I did plan for but then I somehow forgot or didn't get to it. So I'm hoping that this video will help you guys out there who are planning your wedding right now or are looking for some tips that you might have forgotten about in this wedding process. So before we get into that, I wanted to say that this is going to be one of my last wedding videos in this series, at least for now, just because of everything that's going on, I'm not able to do do all the DIYs that I want to do and that I want to show you guys. So for now, it's going to be put on hold, but I'm sure that I'll be making more DIY videos that are related to wedding down the line. So keep your eyes peeled for any more in the future. But for now, this is going to be one of the last ones for a little while at least. Before we start the video, I just want to say thank you guys all so much for supporting this channel. I feel like I'm saying this in so many videos, but I honestly am just so, so overwhelmed with all the support and all the nice comments and messages that I get on YouTube and on Instagram it really does make my day so thank you guys all so much for supporting this channel and with that being said let's get into the video so for my first item that is most likely to be forgotten by brides on their wedding day is a steamer and this is something that I actually didn't have beforehand I've always been using an iron but for my wedding I figured I've always wanted a steamer it's kind of like one of those household things that you just want but you feel like you don't actually need but now that I have one I am so glad that I have it and I'm so glad that I bought it for my wedding specifically just because as many times as you can steam your wedding dress or your veil or your bridesmaids dress before the day it's always going to get wrinkled somehow in the middle of transporting it to the hotel or the venue or wherever you're going so I made sure to bring the steamer with us on the day of just so that we can get out any of the little wrinkles and things that you see and not only is is that helpful for clothes but I think it's really important if you're buying linen to make sure that your linen is steamed I used to do social media for a linen company that is like one of the biggest linen companies ever and I would look at so many pictures of weddings and when there were pictures of weddings with wrinkles or lines in their linen I would always be just like a little bit bothered just because it wasn't exactly perfect and that's just probably me but usually a wedding designer or a coordinator or whoever might have a steamer on them so they can make sure to get those lines out of the linen and if you're planning to do linen yourself for any festivity whether it's for your wedding or any party beforehand make sure they get a steamer so you can get out those wrinkles why did I do this? And the second most important thing that you cannot forget on your wedding is makeup or tools to retouch throughout the day. And I think that my top items from this category of beauty and makeup has to be a curler, just because I know from experience that my hair kept falling out because it was so misty out. So having a curling iron on hand was super helpful in making sure that my hair was looking nice all day long. And you cannot forget your eyelash glue because more likely than not, you'll be crying a lot that day or your bridesmaids will be crying, or your mother, or your mother-in-law. Everyone's probably gonna be crying, and because of that, your lashes are probably not going to last as long with all those tears, but happy tears. So having a little bottle of lash glue is going to be super, super important, especially since you're taking photos outside, your eyes might water up, and so many things can go wrong with your lashes, so I would definitely recommend eyelash glue to have in your emergency kit. And then depending on your skin type, you wanna make sure that you have a setting spray so if your skin is super dry make sure that you're rehydrating your skin throughout the day or if you have oily skin make sure that you have some blotting sheets or powder on hand so you can get away that shine especially when you're taking pictures so those items would definitely be on the top of my list when it comes to building out my emergency beauty kit so my third item on this tip is something that might not be helpful to everyone, but if you have this problem, then it will for sure be super helpful to you. And that is Pepsid or Tums. Any type of acid reducer is going to be super helpful, not only for upset stomachs during that day, but also for those of us who get the alcohol flush when you drink. And as someone of Asian descent, I know a lot of friends who get the flush when they drink and it was one of the biggest tips that I got from one of my friends who was also getting married before me to have Pepsid on the day of the wedding because you do not want your wedding party having flush faces for pictures which to me was important that everyone in my wedding party was on point and looking good for our photos and obviously you're going to drink and celebrate and have a good time but you don't want 
red faces in your pictures. So I think having that on hand is going to be super important for those of us who have to deal with that. I personally get a little bit red sometimes, but my biggest problem actually is getting my eyeballs red. Like for some reason, if I have alcohol, my eyes get like bloodshot red. So I made sure to have eye drops on hand. So if my eyes did get red, I could put those in and my eyes wouldn't look crazy throughout the day. So big tip for dealing with appearances when you drink and make sure that you read the ingredients and the directions on the acid reducer before you take it, obviously definitely would recommend Pepsi or Tums on the day of. And the next item that people tend to forget on their wedding day is their overnight bag. So not only as a bride, but also as a groom. So make sure for your wedding day that you and your partner have your bags packed. And the easiest way to do this is honestly just pack one bag and put it together so that you don't have two separate bags that you're bringing. And if you're arriving to the hotel or wherever you're staying at beforehand, your partner will also have their bag already there so they don't forget about it. I feel like there's so many small details details that you can forget. So having it with you on the day of is going to be super handy so that your partner doesn't get to the hotel or wherever you're staying and doesn't have their toothbrush or their PJs or whatever. But luckily that was not one of the things that we forgot and I hope that you don't either. The fifth item that I wanna talk about is printed documents. I feel like we are in such a digital world and we depend so much on our laptops and our cell phones that we might forget to print things out. And honestly, having things printed like your shot list, your MC script, all the little details is just a lot more helpful than to have it on your phone. So I made sure to print everything prior, but for some reason I knew that there was going to be things that I was going to forget to print out. So what I actually did was bring my printer to my hotel, which sounds kind of ridiculous, but I just knew that like I would probably forget something important and I didn't want to go like run downstairs to use the hotel's printer or pay for extra stuff. So I ended up just bringing my whole printer and paper to my hotel room and lo and behold I did end up using the printer like the day before the wedding so if it works it works and I would highly recommend for any brides to do the same just so that you have that peace of mind that you will have important things printed out for the day of the wedding. The next thing I want to talk about is vendor tips and just having them on hand make sure that you have the cash in envelopes with clear labels on the names and the companies that each one should go to. I would say to to make sure to give it to someone in your wedding party so that they could give it at the end of the night. Just because at that point you have probably paid your vendor in full and you won't have an invoice to tip on later on. So I would highly, highly recommend to do that. Otherwise, it's just awkward to do it later on after the fact. So I would highly recommend having those ready and putting that on your planning checklist because that is a detail that you do not wanna miss. And obviously you wanna show all the love and appreciation for your vendors. So make sure that you have your tip ready for them. So for these next two items, they are things that I definitely forgot for my wedding. And the first one was pens for my guest book. I don't know how I forgot that because I'm such a crazy stationary person. So... I should have known better. I don't know why I didn't have pens, but one of our friends ended up buying pens the day of or the day before the wedding and he had brought them to us and had it ready. But of course I forgot to bring it to my wedding and we ended up using the hotel pens, which were your typical tacky hotel pens with like a bright green cap and a white bottom and doesn't look the best in pictures, but I do wish that we had different pens or more fun pens like colored markers and things like that. So if stuff like that is important to you, make sure that you get pens for your guest book. And for this eighth item, it is also something that I forgot and then someone else went out and bought it for me and I was so, so grateful for them. And then I ended up forgetting about it and not using it and it is a garter. I'm not exactly sure when you put on a garter, like if you're supposed to wear that all day but for some reason that had totally slipped my mind and come to think of it I'm not sure if I even put it in my timeline so maybe that's why we forgot about it but if that is something that you're planning for your wedding make sure that you have one and maybe just put it on at the beginning of the day I'm not sure if that's the normal if that's the norm please let me know down below I definitely had no idea hence why I forgot to do it but I think those are kind of the things that you forget is like the garter or the bouquet toss and also a tip for the bouquet toss make Make sure that you don't throw your flowers. Make sure that you're throwing a bridesmaid's bouquet 
or a silk bouquet. So having that ready is super handy. But yeah, I'm really regretting that I forgot that because I literally had it ready. I just forgot to put it on and then we just forgot to do the whole thing. But uh, what can you do? This next item is something that you cannot forget to bring on your wedding day, especially if you are a DIYer, and that is your wedding invitation suite and other materials that complement it. So my photographer was on top of his game and he made sure to remind me to put all of those items into a box so that he can photograph them at the venue. So I made sure to have my envelopes, my invitations, ribbons, extra florals and even my wax seal, like the actual stamper. And I feel like if you're a DIY bride, you definitely want to have your work captured by your photographer and that all of your hard work is preserved forever. So I would definitely recommend to have that ready to go before your wedding. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you found it helpful and I hope that you learned something new today, like maybe bringing your printer to your hotel because you're that crazy bride, but a bride's gotta do what she's gotta do. So I'm wishing you guys all the best of luck with wedding planning. If you have any video suggestions or requests, please leave them in the comment box down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for videos every single week. Again, I'm trying to post Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. So I'm hoping that I deliver with this video today. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.